right, how's it going? Um, just looking at this, and I find with Rhino that um, he doesn't like um, two, two things to share exactly the same space. You tend to get problems with it, and the problem being that if you try to boolean this one, um, it's failed. They're sharing the same space, um, but if you um, set up um, in I think it's tools options uh, nudge, um, it's in modeling aids nudge, um, so Alt key and arrows. Um, if you set these up like 0, 0.2, 0, 0.5, something like that, so control and nudge, um, <coughs> that allows you to select that, um, click onto that window, so it's Alt, Control, and then up arrow, now that's, if you can see, jump, that's just jumped it up, 0 0.2, which in the big scale of things isn't really a lot, and now if you boolean that um, oops. Yeah, that's boolean now um, I don't like to use boolean a lot um, I tend to like to um, explode and split the surface and join the surfaces together um, more surface modelling but you know, each their own so that's why I had to uh, get around that one. So from the surface there, I think that's probably where the problems are. Um, maybe in the sweep, there's quite a lot of sections in that, I think. Um, but that'll pretty much work with anything. You see there, it's, that, that's what's been causing problems before, I think. Um, analyze, edge tools, show edges. size if you'd have scaled this up a tiny little bit then you know that's what you'd have got um, just a rhino thing maybe rhino thing maybe and then the other one is um, let's hide that Oops. Uh, the other one is um, the fillets have failed now rhinos I found is pretty um, uh, it's pretty bad for fillets, but again, you'd have probably got away with it if you'd have either scaled this up or scaled that down like by a tiny amount. Same with when you're rendering with stones, um, it's better to, to cut the stones and have a little gap away from the prongs. Um, Just try and get shut of that. Oops. So how would you go about fixing that? Well, lots of different ways, but if we explode everything first, hide that, hide that. Oops, hide that. <coughs> Select all I can. Join that all back together. I think there'll be an end on it that's not joined yet. Yeah, so. Let's join all them back together. Um, and if we select that, join that, cap that, and again, if you let's get that to a different window so we can see what we're doing. Alt, Control, and up. Let's take it up a little bit. Sometimes I might need to take it up more. Uh, yeah, it's actually got it that. Um, but with fillets, um, <coughs> it's a, 
there are funny thing um, if you'd have made that slightly bigger than this then this fillet would have worked no problem um, I think it's it's just the way it works it likes to have something to fill it out of so if you're dead on on the specification it's got nothing to fill it out of um, so that's just that's my workaround for it basically the fillets do work well in Rhino you just gotta realise you know um, like that that corner there it's your fillet you can't deform that so if you're trying to put that round an angle that's too sharp then you'll get overlapping and naked edges the only way to do it is if you use a variable fillet and where it goes smaller the shape then you bring you know you bring that in smaller on your variable fillet down to tiny amounts 0.01 and stupid stuff like that to make it work and again there the problem with that is that as I said if that had been, you know, point not one bigger, then it'd have all worked fine. It's just when you have the numbers the same. So I'd be interested if anyone else has any other solutions and, and stuff. Anyway, all right. Thanks for that. Cheers now. Bye bye.